Hey everybody, Jake here, and uh, I just got a new package in the mail, and I figured, you know, my other unboxings have gone okay on the channel, someone's watching them, so maybe you guys will enjoy this one. Um, this is a very special package I've been waiting on for only about a week or so. Um, so let's take a look. It's just a black unmarked pouch, a little different than what I was expecting, but I'm not going to complain about it. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. You ready? Are you, are you ready? Are you ready? I think it's on this bottom side. I can kind of feel it. You ready? Boom! This is the Booze Blades Mini Arrow. Let's see. I'm really excited. and trying not to damage anything. Oh, that's gorgeous. So this is the um, knife that Booze Blades just released. Um, I think they announced it in December. This is the Mini Arrow. Um, this is a miniature version of their era, which I think they've done two versions of, or he rather. It's just one guy, as far as I know. Um, but these are des are uh, manufactured by Wii knives. This is my first Wii knife, so I'm really excited. Let's take a look at the action here. Oh, oh my gosh, that was astounding. I know it's kind of hard to um, to tell. There's a piece of lint in there. I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but that was great. So you can see his little, uh, his maker mark here. And he names the um, arrow and the smoke after his dogs, I do believe. This is the blue version with the carbon fiber insert, which um, all of them have carbon fiber inserts at the moment. Um, they do have uh, blue and silver, I believe, still in stock. I'm trying to post this, like, the day I get it. Um, bronze, unfortunately, is gone as far as I can tell. Let's check the smoothness on this. I think the blade's too light to, yeah. Blade's a little too light to drop. That's all right. Centering's really, really good. Um, let's see, really nice pocket clip. Good spring on that. Looks gorgeous. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with it at the moment. Uh, lock up is uh, forty or fifty percent. Not too bad. I really got this because of the shape. Um, because I was looking for something a little better shaped than my ZTO four fifty CF. And you can see these two are somewhat close in size, um, a little bit shorter with the uh, booze blades. Okay, let's take a look at what else comes in the box, since this is an unboxing. So we get the knife. I set it here, that way you guys can look at it and contemplate buying one yourselves. Let me put it over here, actually, because it'll get better light. There you go. Yeah, be tempted. Um, so it comes in this little case, kind of uh, very soft fabric lined, and we get some, some swag. Let's see. Get a Booze Blades sticker of that adorable little dog again. You also get a Booze Blades Arrow Mini. Um, okay, nothing on here important that's going to show you anything about me. So you can see the steel is CPM S35VN, commonly known as S35VN. Um, the handle is obviously titanium with a carbon fiber insert. Manufactured January 2018. Um, this is the Arrow Mini, like I said. it's uh, I, I like it so far, but we're going to have to carry it and do a full review on it, obviously. Um, and this, this sticker's so cute. This is definitely going, uh, probably on my car. We'll see. I'll kind of leave it there as well. I was really excited for this knife. Um, ergonomically, it's a little better than I was expecting. Um, this little finger slash sharpening choil is a little small for my finger. Um, but I, I can definitely see it being usable if you need to do some precise cuts or, um, even better, one the real reason I got this is the blade shape, um, because it'll allow you a lot more fine detail work than the um, ZT over 50 CF. It's a mouthful. Come on, ZT, get some names, man. Um, it's gorgeous. Um, I actually need to purchase a Weha bit driver set because all my torques are stripped out. Um, once I get that taken care of, though, I'll go ahead and lube this up, and we'll see if the uh, drop shutness gets any. Drop shuttier. Um, I like drop shut knives. Oh, forgot to check. Um, you can also open this knife with this little hole, or at least he should have videos of it. Um, I can't get my thumb in there, but let's see if I can open it with the middle finger flick. Probably not. We're going to see that. Nope. I don't see how he did that. That's crazy. Maybe with some... Um, yeah, the detent's a little too strong on this, I think, for that at the moment. We'll, uh, I'm going to work on that and get back to you. Maybe I'll have it down by the time of the full review. I kind of got something there. Comes out. Let's see if I can get some assistance from other hand. 
Oh, there we go. That hurt. <laughs> but I did it, and it, it was cool. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one, guys. Um, this is not not by a huge margin, but it's, it's definitely my most expensive knife. Um, I'm trying to kind of get rid of all my bad knives. Because like with pins, um, you know, $40, you can get an interesting pin and still use it every now and then. If you have a bunch of like $150, $200 knives, you're really, really, really not going to carry, you know, of course, you're really not going to carry your cheaper ones, like your, uh, your Walmart knife here, which I've never carried because it has uh, this interesting little feature. Let's see if we can get a focus on the back lock here. Boop. Which comes right out. Also, there's significant blade play, and uh, it's just garbage. But anyway, um, I'm trying to stabilize my knife collection into being pretty much all, you know, fairly good stuff, um, which I've done some selling and things uh, on... I don't want to divulge too much. I've done some selling, um, but I'm trying to narrow, narrow it down. My pins as well, to a lesser degree... Um, I've just accepted that I have a problem with that. But the knives, um, I'm trying to get it down to maybe 15 or so really good ones. Um, really excited to go to Blade Show in June. Super, super hyped about that. Um, and see how big of a budget I can get for that. Uh, my wife isn't going with me, so <laughs> we're going to see how much trouble I get in when I get back. Um, let me just take a quick uh, another run over the knife, if anyone's still watching at this point. Really nice cutouts on the clip, and you can see this is kind of like a stonewashed finish. Um, really, really good. Um, there's crowning on the spine of the blade, and jimping as well to help you get a nice, really nice grip up there. Um, floating back spacer, love the detail on that. Actually, only two screw points to hold this down, which is fantastic. Um, makes disassembly so much, so much easier. Um, blade is tip up, right hand care, I mean, not the blade. <laughs> The clip is tip up right hand only carry. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm not going to say sorry, lefties, but um, you're kind of out of luck on this one. Um, really nice, interesting clip design, though. I like how it matches the rest of the knife aesthetic. Um, obviously, not a free spinning pivot, but it blends in with the design so good. The, the design on this knife is just excellent. This is this is gorgeous. Um, I'm in love with this one. As soon as this video gets done, I'm, I'm posting this on Reddit and Instagram and every damn where else. Um, really good, though. Really good fit and finish as far as I can see. Um, the carbon fiber is very flush with the um, titanium. The pivot's pretty flush as well. Um, I, I, I love it. Really, really like it so far, which I only had it for, what, eight minutes? So we'll see, but um, the action on this thing is great. I wish it, I wish it were smoother on the fall shut end, or on the shutting end. But actually, getting the knife out there is probably better than my 0450. Yeah, definitely, definitely. This feels a little more mushy. Not that, it, not it's, that it's bad, because this knife can also do this, um, which this knife can't at the moment. We're gonna see. But uh, the tent, the detent on this is really good. We really like the little cutout here too. Um, I don't necessarily get smaller knives because I have smaller hands. I get them because I don't like carrying larger knives. Um, to be perfectly honest, the ergonomics on this aren't great. It's a whole lot better for me on like the the folding razor. I I can you know that fills up my hand pretty well. But um, the folding razor is super impractical. Um, this is very practical, and I don't need to get that good of a grip on my knives. I don't really do any hard labor with them or anything. It's also so much thinner and so, so much lighter. Let me see if I can get some specs pulled up for you guys real quick on this knife. Um, let's see. Give me just a moment. I'm on my computer as well. Okay, so we got a blade length of three inches. Um, that's not necessarily cutting edge. That's just the entire blade length. Um, handle length 3.37 or it's 3.75 overall length of 6.75 weight of 1.98 ounces. It's not even a 2 ounce knife. It's ridiculous. It is, it's ridiculous. It's noticeably lighter than my 0450. 
This is crazy. Um, this may very well become my favorite knife, um, which is sad because I just got the ZT0450. I don't know. I think they serve different purposes. Um, but yeah, this this is this is amazing, guys. They got rid of uh, some of the other issues that had plagued the previous versions as well. Um, so it now covers up the tips. So you don't stab yourself with it. Um, there's enough clearance here. Not that this is a previous issue, but there's enough clearance here. So you can, you know, get your finger done. Um, I don't know. There, I know there's also a previous issue of him not masking off the pivot. Or not him, but we not masking off the pivot um, before... No, maybe it wasn't we that did the previous errors. I'm not sure. There's an issue where they didn't mask off the pivot before doing the um, stone washing on the blade finish. Um, so it caused some grittiness in the in the action. This certainly doesn't feel gritty. Um, feels pretty good. But we'll just have to see. But I'll, I'll take it down and look at all that. Um, if you guys would like a disassembly video on this as well, let me know. I certainly can do it. Um, I usually disassemble my knives not too long after I get them just to lubricate them myself and clean out anything. This one might wait a little while. Anyway, um, I'm done rambling because I have to go do other stuff. But um, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep an eye out for the review of this gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Um, and let me know if there are any anything else um, that you guys recommend I pick up. Um, especially with me going to Blade Show. Um, definitely looking at um, some Microtex. Really, really interested in um, Asheville Steel. Um, I don't know if they'll be there or not. They're not. They're like an hour and a half up the road from me. Um, but their Warlock and Phoenix models, I really want them, like, super bad. <laughs> um, but, yeah, let me know if there's anything you guys think I should pick up at Blade Show. Let me know if you're going to be there. Um Maybe I could meet up with some of you guys, uh, not for an extended period of time because I'm going with some friends, but um, if you want to stop by and say hey or um, anything like that, you know, just let me know. Maybe I'll uh, get to see some of you guys. All right, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, un comment and subscribe. I can talk one day, I promise. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for the review of this guy. Really excited. Um, and this one will be a, a review that's not filmed on my phone. It'll be proper. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.